Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, guys. It's Dollar Tree haul day. Um, don't worry, I'm going to bring Little P in here in a minute. But I did pick up a bunch of frozen things that I just wanted to show you guys real quick so I can run and put these back in the freezer and then I will go get Sweet Pea and he can come in here and help me with the rest of this. But first I grabbed two more of these boxes of the Brown and Serve Pancakes Breakfast with the sausage and it comes with the syrup. These are really great for a real quick meal on the go. You only have to cook them for like a minute or so. Um, a minute and 45 seconds. So, and they're really good. And they're the um, Brown and Serve, so they're a good name brand. And then I picked up three of these little pizzas that are great for lunchtime or something for real quick. So I picked up one of the original, and these are the Celeste. Um, so they're pretty good. And then I picked up one of the Supreme that has all good kinds of stuff on here. Um, this is the Suprema. Um, this has sausage, mushrooms, peppers, green peppers, red peppers, onions, and all kinds of goodies in here. And then this one is just a pepperoni one. So that's a great deal for a buck. A lot of times you can find these in your grocery store on sale for like 10 for 10 or whatever. And then I picked up two of these for my grandson who loves these burritos. These are the beef and bean burritos. And um, yeah, these are a nice brand too. And I always grab a couple of these for him on at Dollar Tree. And then my husband loves these. I don't care for them so much, but he loves this um, stuffed hash browns. And these are Jimmy Dean brand. And uh, it's potatoes with sausage, gravy, and cheese. And he absolutely loves these. So I grabbed him a few more of those. And then, let's see, what else did we get in here? I picked up the couple of the sausage and cheese English muffins. These are also the Jimmy Dean brand. So these are great for a really quick meal when you want something just real quick. So I'm going to put all this stuff back in here and take it back down and put it in my freezer. And then I will go get little P and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, here's little P. Say hi, everybody. Give everybody a kiss. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Not a kiss. No, you won't do it when I want you to. I actually put a plastic cup back here for him to get in trouble with, figured, because I know he's going to want to dump it. So, give you something to dump today. All right, so back to this haul here, guys. Um, well, for anybody who hasn't seen little P before, He's my white-bellied Kaique. He's four years old, and uh, he's pretty much the only parrot that'll, that I have that'll come in here and just hang out. And of course now the fire alarm's going off. Never fails when I do a video. <laughs> but, so he's in here hanging out with us today. Turn around here. All right, so I actually got to go down into the food aisles. Um, Dollar Tree was pretty much wiped out of anything summer, anything patriotic decorations. It's just all gone already. It's just incredible, and they are starting to bring out the fall stuff. My daughter actually took a picture and sent to me the other day from up where she lives of the whole section of pumpkins and fall items, and it's crazy. But anyway, so it did give me a chance to go down in the food aisle, and I picked up a whole bunch of name brand items that I thought was really great. So I did pick up this 30, it says 30% bigger Campbell's tomato soup. Um, I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I grabbed one of those, because uh, we like those, you know, some tomato soup, some grilled cheese, that's always a good dinner, dinner or lunch. And then they had the Kitchen's Classic Chicken Noodle Soup, so I picked up one of these too. I very rarely, by the time I'm done, usually when they have a lot of great stuff at Dollar Tree, I don't ever make it all the way through the food aisles because I've already been there too long, but this time there really wasn't that much, although I did find some really cool things I'll show you in a minute. And then I picked up a bag of the Bachman Butter Twists. These are really good. Brick oven, flame baked, it says. It's a three ounce bag. They're regularly $1.89 in the stores. So I got one of those. What do you think? You like pretzels? Yeah, okay. Let's not rip the bag open though. I'll give you some of those later. And then I picked up a pack of the Lance Cream Cheese and Chives Crackers. These are like my favorites. So you get six packs in here, and there's four in each pack. So I always like to grab them when I can. And then I picked up a can of SpaghettiOs. They're always nice to have on hand for the kids and stuff. And these are the SpaghettiOs with meatballs. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd grab one of those while I was there. And then I also picked up two cans of these. This is the Prego Classic uh, Pasta Sauce. And I usually get the big jars and stuff for spaghetti. 
But um, I thought this was great. Like if you want to make some meatball sandwiches or something or steak sandwiches, this is a great size, you know, to have on hand for something like that. So I did get two of those. Oh, do you, you like this? Well, you can't have tomato sauce because you can't have tomatoes. But you can play with the can. I'm sure you will. And then, of course, I did pick up another two jars of the jalapenos for my husband. And I do see this brand, that this um, Breckenridge, Breckenridge brand, a lot now. I don't really see the Pampa one anymore. Thank goodness, because he did not like those at all. He said they were just awful. But um, So I did grab him two more jars of these to put away in his stash of jalapenos. So we got those. And then I found some of these soups. These are Progresso. Um, this is tomato basil soup, and it comes with cheddar cheese crackers on the top. And I thought that was pretty cool. I haven't seen these at my Dollar Tree before. Um, so I grabbed one of these, and this is a 12.2 ounce thing. You just pop it, and this is great to like take to work or whatever. And you're going to take the ink out of my pens. That's another one of his favorite things to do if he gets a hold of a pen. He likes to pull this out. And here, how about I pull it out, and then you can just think you're getting into trouble. There you go. It's ink-free. Get over here. You're being a brat. Come over here and play with it. There you go. No, now you don't want it because I said you could have it. You're a little stinker. Yeah, I took the ink out. Now it's no good. Oh, well. And then I picked up two more of the Norris sides. This one is cheddar and broccoli. Um, this is one of the noodles in it. These are really good for a quick and easy side dish, especially this time of year when it's so hot. You only have to cook these for like... <clears throat> this says cooks in 10 minutes. The, the, the rice ones here, this is the cheddar, broccoli and cheddar rice, and these cook in 7 minutes. So, And these are really good, and you can add stuff to it. You can throw some chicken in there or something and have a really good meal. But I got two of those, and then I picked up a box of the uh, Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownies, and I like these because they're the 9 by 13 family size, so that's what I usually get at my grocery store. And... Well, that was a pretty good buy for a dollar. Where are you going? There's nothing on the floor for you to get into. I thought maybe you would love to just throw my glass all over, thinking that you weren't allowed to have it, but... <laughs> you are such a brat. I know, no glasses or cups are allowed to stand when sweet pea is around. Okay, so then I found these. These are coffee meat. Um, my husband loves the hazelnut. I haven't seen these there before either. Um, these are eight ounces of the um, Coffee Mate creamers and then you have to put these in the fridge after you open them but those are really good so I got two of those the hazelnuts and then I also picked up the French vanilla so I thought that was nice I was just surprised how many name brand things I found there this week oh and I did get another soup here it is back here and this is chicken noodle soup with oyster crackers you get your oyster crackers on the top there and then it's all ready to go. You just heat it up and add your crackers. So, and this is 12.2 ounces too. So that'd be great to take along for lunch or on the go somewhere. Don't eat my desk. Oh, show everybody how nasty you be. You got a purple beak again. You do love your blueberries in the morning, don't you? Yes, you do. Do you love your blueberries? Huh? There goes the fire truck. All right. Let's see. What else did I get food-wise? got these snack packs. They get four of these in here. got the chocolate. They have vanilla and chocolate, and uh, I think they had vanilla, and I forget what else they had, but um, we really like these, so I grabbed a pack of those. And we're going to go after the soup again. All right. And then, let's see, I grabbed some more of these bags that we use a lot of, especially with the birds and their fruits and veggies that we cut up every day. So you get 13 in here, and these are really good bags. I like them a lot. So I got another pack of those, and of course I got my garbage bags. I actually picked up two more boxes of these because sometimes I can't find them. So when I see them, I try to stock up. So I think I have probably six boxes now so I can relax on those. And those are the 13-gallon ones with the handles, the vanilla scent. I love those. And like I said, we cram them full of stuff, and they just don't rip or anything. And then let's see. I picked up another box of the mix or box. I know. I tell everybody, this is what I do. Uh, these are the mixed nuts. You get peanuts, cashews, Brazil nuts, almonds, and walnuts. And it says less than 80% peanuts, but there is a lot of peanuts in here. So, but they're really good. So I got another can of those. And I think that's it for food stuff. Oh no, I did pick up some sodas. I got two of the, the Diet Pepsi. 
Um, these are a good deal because in my grocery store now, I forget what these were. They were like $1.49 or something now. They used to... No, not my ladybug or my frog. Um, they used to be just a dollar or 99 cents, but they have went up and so this is a good deal at Dollar Tree if you need to get some soda. So I did grab two of those and I grabbed a... Ugh, look at this up here. This is the Old Orchard iced tea, the lemon. This stuff's really good. This is a nice size 64 ounce bottle of this. It's a half a gallon. So I really like this stuff. And like I said, I was just surprised all the name brand things that I could find this week there. So I need to look there more often. And then I picked up just a tube of toothpaste. This is the baking soda peroxide whitening fresh mint crest. Um, it's a 2.4 ounce tube. It's just toothpaste. But there you go. Here, don't throw the cup. No, no, don't do it. Oh, now you're going to get on it. You're going to break your neck. Get off of the cup. You're goofy. You're being goofy. Come on, turn around. Let me let's look at your butt. All right, P. You show them your stuff. Well, they picked up these cute little travel bottles. I just thought these were adorable. I may use them actually here in my craft room for different things. But this one... You get a little spray bottle, and then you get a little bottle, you know, they can put lotions or whatever, and you're going to kill yourself on that cup. Um, lotions in and that, and I thought these were real cute with the purple and uh, purple polka dots, and then I picked up one with the pink polka dots, and I just thought those are really nice. I haven't seen these before either. So I grabbed those, and then I got some more of the Dial Basic soap. Um, this is the hyperallergenic soap. This stuff's really nice. Um, you go, P. You show everybody what a tough guy you are with that cup. But I, these, you get a two-pack of these, so I got another pack of those to put away. And these I found, I thought these were adorable. These are just little makeup cases. You could put anything in here you wanted to, just like store things or whatever. And this one says, No Drama Llama on it. And it has this really nice zipper thing. And it's lined pretty nice on the inside, too. So I got this one, and then I also... And this got this one that says, You're la amazing. Lama a la Okay, I can't even say it. <laughs> it's your amazing, usually lama in the beginning. There you go. <clears throat> but I thought these were really cute. And the zippers on them are really nice, too. Oh, this one now make a liar out of me. What's it getting stuck on? Well, you didn't do that in the store. Let's see. We got stuck on something here. Hopefully, I can fix that. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I need to trim a little bit of this inside off here. This stuff's sticking up too much. I'll just trim that off and it should be fine. But yeah, they're a nice, like, um, plastic on the outside, like a vinyl. And then, now yeah, you got your pen back. So I thought those were nice. Now, these I thought were so cool. I have never seen these before at the Dollar Tree. These are genius. And they only had these in the 2.5 prescription, which is perfect for me. But these are makeup readers. Um see clearly when you're applying makeup so you can put these on and it's so cool because when you're done with that side these flip over to the other eye what a great idea I thought these were genius <laughs> I have such a hard time getting my makeup on I have magnifying mirrors and stuff but I picked up one in the black and then I picked up one in the red and I just thought these are so cool what a great idea I've never seen these before so I thought that was really cool. But like I said, they only had the 2.50. Um, but if that works out for you, then that's great. And that is what I use them with my readers. So I picked up two pairs of these. What a cool idea. Why couldn't I think of something like that? <laughs> but anyway, so keep an eye out for those if you're looking for something like that. And then I picked up... Get over here, you stinker. Stop trying to chew my desk apart. I picked up a pack of these little infant spoons. Here, let's get these out. These are for my double yellow head Amazon parrot. He loves to play with these little things, little plastic things. He just kind of fights with them and flaps his wings and bites things. i got to try and get a video of him playing with this stuff. I'll have to get my tripod set back up in there and let it sit for a while because if I bring in a camera, they all stop doing everything they're doing. What do you think? What if I put these in here? All right. So I got those, and you get, what did I say that was in here? I don't even know. Twelve. Twelve of those little baby spoons. All right, craft your square section. Nothing much new. 
The only thing I was excited about, last week I found A through M in the galvanized letters, and this week I found M through Z. So I picked up two of these to go with my other ones. I was real happy about that. So, But they didn't have any of the A through M's. So that was all they had was these. So we got two packs of those. Are these good? All right, we like those. Okay. And then I got these little tags. And these are the chalkboard tags. You get four of them in here. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But I like to grab these things when I see them. Put them away in my stash of stuff. And then they had these chalkboard tags, too, that are round. And these are just more like a... These are like a, a chipboard or... They might actually look like wood on the inside. Yeah, see? Now he thinks he's stealing my stuff. <laughs> but anyway, you get six of these in here. And these are more of a... I don't know. Let me open this up. It kind of feels almost like a card stuff. <clears throat> it's hard to tell when they're all together. But these don't feel as heavy. Yeah, these are like a real heavy card stock. And this just looks like just regular paper. Um, not like these nice chalkboard things here. This is just pretty much card stock paper. I'm a little disappointed on these. But they may come in handy for something that I'm doing here. We'll put them away. And then I found these. These I thought were so pretty, these stickers for fall. Uh, you get 12 pieces in here, the pop-up stickers, and they had this style here. I thought those were really nice. And then they had this style here. And that was the only two that I saw. I don't know if they're going to come out with more of these or not, but I thought these were really pretty. They have a little bit of glitter and stuff, and there's a couple little ladybugs in there and things. And then these are the same. And then I did pick up another one of these. I've picked these up before, but I think these are so pretty. With the dragonflies, you get nine of them in here. And they are just absolutely gorgeous. So you're having a good time with that spoon. Oh, you're getting mad at that spoon. Why are you getting mad at it? Huh? What did it do to you? Are you mad at the spoon? You don't like it? No? Okay. <laughs> He's been on a screaming binge this week, so sometimes it's necessary to have you come in here and keep me company, because he's an attention hog. He wants constant attention, and he might scratch his head with that end of that thing there. Sometimes he does that, too. Um, but Oh, he's been so loud this week. Oh, and then back here, I forgot I stuck these over here. I do have more. I was so happy to see that they're coming back out with these. I love these to decorate for the holidays. This comes off and it has the little tea light holder attached to them and these little mason jars. And these are so much fun to decorate and things for the holidays and stuff. I want to do some for fall. I did some, I have a bunch of them that I did for Christmas that I put the, all the glitter on the outside uh, and um, they look really pretty. So there you go. So I was so glad to see these again. I think I probably have about six of these now. And I was hoping they were going to come back out with them again this year. And then I did pick up one of these bowls. I just thought these were so pretty. I just got one. But look how pretty this is. I love the pattern on there. They're just gorgeous. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with it. I'll probably put something in it out on my counter. But, yeah, I just grabbed one of these. And it's just called a bowl. And it says they're microwave and dishwasher safe. So that's always a good thing. So that is it. That's all we got at Dollar Tree this week. Like I said, there was nothing new for holidays. There was nothing new for fall except those stickers. Um, summer stuff is gone. And hopefully next time I get back there, they'll have everything restocked with some new goodies. Because we love new goodies. It's fun that way, huh? You don't want to play with this no more? No? You're being very, very quiet right now. Are you going to give everybody a kiss goodbye? You want to get a kiss? Do a kiss. You're so good at it. Do a kiss. Pay. You won't do anything I want you to on camera. Give everybody a big kiss. You snuck one in last time. Give a kiss. Let me take my glasses off. Sometimes that freaks them out, too. We'll give them a kiss. We'll pay nothing. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I will see you guys all next time. I hope everybody has a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And everybody stay safe and well.